Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost video on finding the exact circumference of a full circle. So we want to work out the circumference of this circle. Remember the circumference of a circle is just the perimeter of the circle, the length of the perimeter. And we want to give our answer in terms of pi. So that's a new thing here. Rather than giving the perimeter as a decimal, like, I don't know, 10.4 centimetres or something, we want to give the answer in terms of pi. What that might look like is something like 10 pi. So that would be 10 lots of pi or 3 pi. We want to keep the answer exact by keeping the pi in the answer. Because as soon as we round a decimal to a value like 10.5, we're actually losing some of the accuracy because pi, the digits go on forever. So as soon as we round it to a decimal, we're going to lose accuracy. If we keep pi in the answer, then it's an exact answer. We've kept the answer exact. So let's remind ourselves how we find the circumference of a circle. If you've got a circle, and remember the radius is the line from the centre of the circle to the perimeter, the circumference. So let's say, call this R for radius. And remember that the line from one end of the circle to the other through the centre is known as the diameter. I'm going to use D for diameter. And you can see that two lots of the radius would be the same as the diameter of the circle. So the circumference of the circle, I'm going to use C for short, is either pi times the diameter. Remember, when you put things next to each other in algebra, it means times, it's pi, times by the diameter. And remember, pi is a special number in mass. It has the value 3.141, etc. But we can get it on our calculator. Or, if you want to use the radius instead, because the diameter is two lots of the radius, it's pi times two times the radius, which we could write as two pi r. So two times by pi multiplied by the radius. Now, in this particular case, we've got the radius. So we want to use this formula. So the circumference is going to be 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius, which is 7. And now we just need to simplify this. We don't want to put this on our calculator because we don't want to end up with a decimal. Although actually your calculator should give your answer something pi. Now, let's do the numbers first. 2 times 7 is 14 and it's 14 times pi, so we write the answer as 14 pi. We always put the number before the pi, so we would say 14 pi to mean 14 lots of pi, or 14 times pi. We wouldn't write pi 14, that would look a bit strange. Now, the radius is in centimetres, so we need to put a unit on the circumference. Circumference is still a length, so it's still going to be centimetres, the unit here. If it was an area, we'd use centimetres squared instead, which we'll look at in another video. So that is the final answer. The answer is 14 pi centimetres.